Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed right now. I'm legitimately stressed. <laughs> I don't want anything from you. Oh, this is relentless. The world's about to be doomed. Cursed toilet. <sighs> We're screwed. Oh, no. And my dog. What happened to my dog? I hope he's okay. I hope he got away. Curtains up. It's the grand opening. The young son you get your treats from. What's up, D-Squad, D-Heads, D-Babies? Reporting in. Episode 4, probably the last episode. We've been pretty badly beaten up throughout the last three investigations. Quick shout out, game designer, Pawel Kosminski, the developer, Panstaz, the publisher, Eastbird Games. This is World of Horror. If you're a fan of roguelite games, turn-based combat, random encounters, Junji Ito, then you'll love this game. Great for quick playthroughs or long campaigns. Quick recap. Last investigation, we fought a headless gardener infected with an evil fungus. We made it out of his overgrown mansion. Uh, one health, <laughs> barely made it. Before that, we shut down a ramen shop that was poisoning its customers' food. Before that, our aunt tried to sacrifice us to the god of this playthrough, uh, the Towering Eye. We've got two investigations left before Endgame in this quick play. Uh, our starting character items, mysteries were randomized. I'm stoked to try and make it through this episode. This is the next to last investigation. So no more, no less. I'm going to try my best. Let's get it. Oh, God, that like legitimately scares me every time when you alt tab and you come back. It always does a jump scare. <laughs> uh, this is us. Uh, we used to be a pretty handsome guy. Now we're bandaged face, shoulder slash guy. And we got frostbite. Can't forget that. Uh, like I said, the god of this playthrough causing the apocalypse is Athulaz, the Towering Eye. Uh, his effect on the world is instead of spell cost, it increases your doom. Doom gets to 100%. You lose the game. We're at 64% and we are three-fifths of the way through the game. So uh, we're cutting it pretty close. Uh, the allies we've picked up so far, we found a dog when we went to the festival to find out our aunt was trying to make us a blood sacrifice. I love dog. Let's give him a pet real quick. Dog barks knowingly. Yes, he does. Uh, we've got Yoichi, who <laughs> we lied to and said we were serving the old god so he would come with us. But he gives us twice the available funds so we can pick up more items than we can afford. Um, we've leveled up twice. First time we leveled up, we took a plus to Dexterity. Second time we leveled up, we put, took a plus to Charisma. Uh, the spells we have on us, which I'm never going to cast because they will cost Doom percentage instead of uh, their actual spell cost. I had to cast one in the last fight to barely make it alive, out alive with one stamina. I had to use this 7 damage spell. And then I followed it up with a gunshot for 9 plus 7 damage to wipe the guy out with one stamina left. I have two stamina, three reason. There is no way we're going to make it through even one encounter here. We got to be super conservative. Even if we make it through and we do the last investigation and we make it through that and then we get to the end game. We're going to be going up that lighthouse and getting knocked out at the first step. So... I do got my fingers crossed, though. So we have this ritual mask that we picked up in the festival. Um, instead of wearing that, we're, now we have a camera. The camera gives us plus one to knowledge. And we found a dead police officer, and we grabbed his gun for this fantastic weapon. Uh, let's go see uh, what's going on in the town. A weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Great. Fantastic. My first thing to do is I was going to go to the hospital and try to regen my health and stuff. But of course, now there's a uh, a cost. Hospital is overcrowded with sick people. Treatment and surgery actions cost more. Oh boy. Let's just go back to my apartment first. All right, we got our third key. We need five keys total to open up the lighthouse. Oh. <sighs> Before we even check the television or change our clothes, let's just hop in the bath. Let's, uh, let's get a point of stamina back. We'll take a hot bath to regen some stamina. Alright, four stamina, four reason. Yeah, it could, could have been worse. See what's on the TV. Some of our readers report a strange tall man, dressed in white, taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Hey, enough said. Let's look out of our, uh, let's look out the peephole of our apartment. Okay, nobody's out there. 
I think uh, it's time to get serious. Let's uh, let's change clothes. Uh, we started off with the camera around our neck, but uh, we're pretty serious investigators, so I've been wearing the suit and tie. You know, this is probably the let, let's go for it. Let's put on the Hawaiian the Hawaiian shirt. We we got nothing to lose. Let's go out balling. Oh man. Okay, let's pick up a new mystery, but before we even get into it, we are going to head to the hospital. So our options are, we've got two. This one has three endings. It's called The Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. This one has two endings. It's called The Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. I'm kind of preferential to a less ending one right now because it generally will be shorter and Oh, I, I need to spend this investigation trying to find a way to get my health back up. So let's take one that maybe will be simpler. You know, I say all that. And then I go with the one I said. Yeah, Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. Let's do it. I'm afraid some of the ones with less endings, though, too, have more drastic endings, like either you die or you live, you know? Whereas the third one might be like, you succeed, you succeed better, or you like barely fail. So this one might be shorter, might give us more opportunity to heal up, but I think we're gonna put ourselves at greater risk to just a total wipe by failing the quest. So let's see. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to s a dare to stay in the unused school classroom after classes. A dare to meet Akomanto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that has only made it more popular. Akomanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Uh, so it looks like there's some sort of like dare game at the school to go inside a haunted room, you know. <laughs> That's very uh, horror story. So before we even do any of this, let's see. Uh, gather gossip about the current mystery. So I know you can pick, you can gossip with people at the school, which is where we're gonna go to solve the mystery. So I think that'll be pretty easy to complete this bonus experience. Um, yeah, we're, only, we're at 84 out of 100, so I think our best bet here is to go to the hospital, heal up as best we can, uh, then go to the school, gossip, get some experience for a level, heal up with the level, and then hope for the best. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go to the hospital. Yeah, let's go inside the hospital. Oh man, it's gonna cost us doom. We're at 64% doom, but we need to heal up, so we're gonna go to the doctor. The emergency department is crowded as a direct result of the weird things happening in your town. You finally are asked to the doctor's office. How can I help you today? So, I think what we want to do here is... I think we want to get rid of this injury that makes us sustain additional combat damage. And we want to get rid of this minus two to strength, if you're asking me. So it looks like you, for, for, for getting treated, you have minus one to strength, but now we are not so, all right, let me explain what happened. So, I had two injuries that I paid one fund apiece to heal. So, I had two funds, and I spent all my money. The first one was to get rid of my debuff that was causing me to take more damage in combat. And the cost of that was minus one to strength. The second thing I did was get rid of my debuff that was minus two to strength. So... I currently had minus five to strength. Now, because of treatment, these don't overlap. I'm only having minus one to strength. So at the end of this mystery, I'll be back up to seven strength. And I no longer take extra damage in combat. The torn muscle, where I deal less damage in combat, you know, I, uh, I don't really want to... 
I don't really want to... Um, it's, it's not the most important thing. So now we have our injuries healed. Oh yeah, look, see, my, I don't have the bandages on my face anymore. I'm just a little bruised up. So I think that was a good call. We're going to go back to... Um, we're going to go back to my apartment. Um, it's going to, again, it's going to cost us doom, but we're going to rest. It certainly feels good to be back at home. You swallow the painkillers, you sit on a couch and read your favorite book. Plus two to stamina and reason. Time flies by so fast, you prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. Plus three percent doom, so we were at 69 percent doom. Oh man, you really, there's a lot of trade-offs here. So let's see where we're at. We're at six stamina, six reason, which is better than two and two. <laughs> so let's go to the school and uh... Oh man, it's gonna cost oh, whatever. All right, let's gossip. When Akamanto asks which paper do you want, you must refuse anything. Oh, I gotta remember that. If I can't, if I encounter this ghost, if it asks me which paper do I want, I refuse any paper. Good looks. What's this girl's name? I don't know, but thanks, girl. <laughs> He wasn't the same since he came back. How did you do on your English exam? <laughs> Alright. You've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you. So let's see how far we are from leveling. Ugh, I really need that level. The level will give me points back, too. You know, I might unlearn these spells to regen my reason, too. No, no, I'm gonna unlearn this. No, I can do it in combat. Oh, man, I'm stressing right now. I really want to make it through this. All right, let's investigate the school. Uh, you are investigating art class. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Oh, I don't want to look at it. Oh, I lost two stamina. <laughs> you gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. They make me sick too, bro. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta go rest. I gotta go home and rest again. <laughs> Alright. You take a short nap on your bed. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Plus two to stamina, plus two to reason. Holy crap, man. We're at 75% doom. This is not good. We'll go investigate downtown. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops he stops in front of your house. Excuse me. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? You know, I am in no condition to be doing this. I'm trying to think here, what's the one that might give me increased stamina? Usually, like, say someone's caught in a bear trap. If you try to help them out of the bear trap, it costs stamina. So things that, like, require you to not do things, like maybe call the police, maybe it'll give me plus to stamina. I'm no snitch, all right? I'm just doing this in the game, just looking for some stamina. Oh, charisma check failure. <laughs> That's what I get for snitching. You can't convince the police officer to take you seriously. By the time you manage to find a willing cop, the house is empty. Minus one to reason. Fantastic. Checking out the school's pool area would be a good idea. You know, 
I don't got a choice here. I got to go rest. I'm going home to rest again. I'm resting after everything I do. Ugh. All right, we got st seven stamina, eight reason. So I'm feeling a little safer here, you know? As Doom shoots up to 79%. Oh my god. I'm stressed. I'm stressed right now. I'm legitimately stressed. I really want to win this game. <sighs> All right, let's go to the school. <laughs> the investigation is taking a toll on you. <laughs> it actually is. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus 4% to doom. 84% doom. The world's about to be doomed. One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says, says the grim-looking man who stands in your way. Our company fortunately specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track. After all, he takes a step closer, and you can swear there is a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. So last time I did peace of mind, I thought it was going to cost me reason, but it cost me doom. I'm almost certain jar of blood will be a stamina cost, so let's try fondest memory. Oh, minus three to reason? That's so much! Everything suddenly gets dark. You feel sad. Can't even tell why. In your pockets, you find an envelope with cash inside. My god. Relentless. You know, he did just give us some money. Maybe I can buy something here that will, uh... Oh, plus percent to doom. <laughs> Everything's gonna cost doom. Plus three to stamina, minus one to charisma. Ah, hey, that's what we need. Sewing kit. Plus three to stamina, minus one to charisma. And we're gonna use it right now. And we're gonna also, we're gonna go to our spells. We're gonna unlearn this. Uh, we have a seven damage spell and a three damage spell. We're gonna unlearn this one um, just to get some of our reason back. So we have 10 stamina, 6 reason, <sighs> but we have 88% doom. So let's head back to the school. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after his latest murder. Excuse me. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today. And another body has supposedly been found. Oh, Doom just went to 89%. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. I've gained a curse. Paranoia. Chance of losing reason each time you lose stamina. Oh, oh, oh this is relentless. Oh, what a graphic image, too. So there's a lot of curses. Some of the curses are cool. One of them is like you get gills and you can like do things in the water. Some of them are like um, rune symbols on your face that do things, but a lot of them are just bad ones like paranoia. Uh, the principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of Oo Park. Oh, this is nice. You can cast one spell without paying anything. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing I can cast. <laughs> It'd be great if I had some sort of regen spell that I could get away with not uh, casting for doom points right now, but unfortunately I don't. 
So we're heading back into the school. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there! Here we go. The school shut down. We broke into the school. While you bump through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologize. Perception check failure. Before realizing your wallet is missing, the thief is long gone. Great. <laughs> Alright, here we are. There is no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. We are two points away from a level, which could get us back all a bunch of reason. Here we go. Investigate the cursed toilet. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak, sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. Squish, squeak. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. Red cape! A masked man, dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me... His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? I don't want anything from you! It's getting darker. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes their mask off as the stall walls wither and rot. Reality starts to crumble. Akomanto, true form. Oh man, look at this background. He like teleported us somewhere. Oh no, he has 36 health. That's so much. Oh, we got a level though. Wait, what kind of damage does he do? Oh god, okay. We can, we can, right now we can get plus four to our reason. We can get to an even 10-10 for this fight. Whew, all right, let's see. Faster action, faster combat actions for each ally you have. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus to one of your stats. Items in the shop are cheaper by one. Nope, we're taking fame. Faster combat actions for each ally you have. We got two allies. This might be the speed boost we need to hit first. We're going to get four to our stamina. Let's go. Ten stamina, ten reason. We've got increased speed. We got a gun. We've got a spell that does seven damage. We're going to deck this guy right now. 91% doom! 91% doom! We're screwed! Dude, we might as well just make it out of this mystery, alright? I don't know if we're gonna get to the last mystery in the endgame, but I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this mystery. We're gonna we're gonna use the spells. We're gonna risk the doom to cast the spells. We're gonna do it. Okay. Boom. Gotta check that we're at 96% doom. That's so bad. Oh no. Okay, let's prepare the attack. We'll shoot him. We'll shoot. We can shoot him twice. Okay, bang, bang. Here we go. It's gonna be like 18 damage, I think. Here we go. Bang. Bang. <gasps> He's not affected by bullets. You push the trigger, but nothing happens. Akomanto is choking you. Something doesn't feel right. Oh my god. He just wasn't even hit. <laughs> so there's... It, it, when something's incorporeal and if you don't have a way to hit it... There's a whole nother set of... There's offensive actions, support actions... Camera flash. I've never seen that one. Like, you can look for a weapon, you can use some of your other things, but there's also, um, defensive actions. I can't run from this. He pulled us into another dimension. But there are spiritual actions. Like, sometimes if you clap, bow, clap, ring a bell in a certain order, you can make something disappear. I don't think it'll work for the boss. At the very least, I'm gonna, I can pray. I can pray a lot. 
I'm just gonna bow. I'm just gonna pray. <laughs> I'm gonna get on my knees and I'm gonna pray. And uh, I'm gonna pray because I think after I hit him with this spell, I can't. I'm at 96% doom. I, if I cast this spell, I'm gonna lose on doom. Screw it. I'm not getting taken down by the Crimson Cape. Boom. 13 HP. 101% doom. We're done. After this is over, we're done. <laughs> Let's just, we're praying. We're getting on our hands and knees. We're praying. We're praying. Oh, uh, that was a good playthrough, man. We actually made it further than I thought. I thought this was going to be a one or two episode playthrough. <sighs> we couldn't even take out the Crimson Cape. He pulled us to another dimension. He killed us in the bathroom stall. <laughs> what a way to go. I was burned and bruised and frostbitten. And my dog, what happened to my dog? I hope he's okay. I hope he got away. Basking in the dying sun's morbid glow, your corpse continues to twist and warp, bringing you closer to your primordial perfect form. Soon, the herald will take you to the shattered court where you will perform and sing mad songs until the end of time itself. What a way to go. You've perished. Cause of death, lost in the other world. <sighs> I had a police revolver, a camera. Playthrough lasted 1,383 out of 13, whatever that means. I solved three mysteries plaguing the town. I saw 30 new events, encountered six new enemies. I didn't unlock any new achievements. <sighs> this game is really fun. Like, no joke. It's such a unique type of game, too. The vibe is such a vibe. I highly recommend it. The game again. World of Horror. <laughs> I can't believe I made it that far. I can't lie. That was pretty good. That was further than I thought. Shout out again. Designed by Pawel Kosminski. Developed by Panstaz. Published by Eastbird Games. Definitely draws heavily from Junji Ito. It's a roguelite. Turn-based combat. Randomized events. Great game. And it's in it's in alpha. It, it, this game is an alpha and it feels like a real game. And I think it's uh I can't remember the, the cost, but it was it's hardly worth not getting if you have any interest in this game. I highly recommend it. I play this a lot when I have a little bit of time. It was really nice to get into a long play. I would consider doing another one again, maybe doing the uh the actual campaign or something. I had a blast. I love the artwork. <laughs> it was a good time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um I love y'all. Commander D, reporting in, reporting out.